Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. This is the 13th of September edition. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products and updates of things we've talked about in the past that have popped up in the last week or so. But before we get into it, we have to welcome back one of our sponsors, Function of Beauty. This week's episode is sponsored by Function of Beauty. We all have different hair needs, so why should we be boxed in by the same old standardized formula when you can customize it for your specific needs? Function of Beauty has unrivaled customization. They individually formulate every bottle based on your hair type, hair goals, and preferences. You select your color and fragrance or can opt for dye-free and fragrance-free. They'll even print your name on the bottle. Function of Beauty uses safe natural ingredients. They never use sulfates, parabens, phthalates, mineral oils, or any other harmful ingredients and are vegan and cruelty-free. We ordered our bottles using the survey. It's really quick and easy to use. It allows you to really customize your shampoo and conditioner. So after ordering our bottles, we received them pretty promptly and I got a nourishing set. Oh my gosh, smells amazing. But the good thing about it, nourishes my hair without weighing it down too much. And I really love the additional pack you can order with the shampoo that's, and conditioner. That's with the great. little travel squeezy tubes that you can clean out and reuse. They are so handy. Surprisingly, probably like hidden the winner. gem. Yeah. Hidden gem. Yeah. They also do hair masks now too. Function of Beauty have been really kind to offer 20% off your first order. To redeem, head to functionofbeauty.com forward slash beauty and take the hair profile quiz. They also ship internationally. Link in description box. Thanks, Function of Beauty. All right, first update, Juvia's Place, the Nomad palette. Mm -hmm. So it's a nine pan palette. We've seen what's inside. Um, it looks to be like a combination of warm, autumn-y shades and then some cool, cool tones. Yeah, Cool tones to sort of... I don't know, make it make it pop, maybe? Yeah, it's sort of, I, I do agree. This is a sort of um, earthy, autumn-like. It's got the orange, the yellow. Uh, it's got a murky green. Um, and then the bottom row sort of looks like an old school contour kit. Yeah. Um, so this is a pretty basic palette. It's now available for $15. There we go. From L'Oreal, uh, we've seen the Karl Lagerfeld collection mm -hmm. that's going to be launching. Um, so they'll have an initial launch on the 20th of September on ASOS yeah. and a global release during Paris Fashion Week on the 27th of September. So the items that we see are an eyeshadow palette. It's going to be £14.99. It's a £9 palette. Then we have a highlighter also $14.99. There's six lipsticks, £9.99, a mascara and an eyeliner, both $8.99 each. So it looks like there's two colors of liquid eyeliner and these are the types of eyeliners that you get a little well, which I really like. Um, looks like there might be a rose gold one and probably Possibly. just a black one. Um, and then the highlighter is actually like a duo. It's like the most frustrating duo where there's one color on the outside and one color on the inside, but um, probably designed just to be used all together. There is something really familiar about this eyeshadow palette. So for people listening on the podcast, it's mainly, I don't know, mauves, pinks, burgundy, a dark blue and a gray and a black. I don't know. It reminds me of something that Nas has done or I don't yeah. know. There's something really familiar about it. This is yeah, I don't think this is a super inspired collection, but I'd hope that the quality is a little bit better than your traditional L'Oreal. And yeah. if it is, I think these could be very wearable products. Yeah. The lipsticks, is a red, two pinks, uh, two nudes, and what looks like a berry. So it's a pretty standard collection. All right, we have some new sneak peeks from the MAC Holiday Collection. So... Prior to this video, we saw um, a little pot with a glittery lid and these lipsticks with the stars on them. Um, we've also we, did we see this highlighter as well with yeah, the stars. Yeah, we did we see did, that. Yeah. yeah. So we've seen some more packaging. So it looks like the outer packaging of the lipsticks. It looks like firstly that there's other lipsticks alongside those star embossed ones. Yeah. So there's some that have like a glitter gradient. Um, one is a silver glitter gradient to a black packaging. One is a gold glitter gradient to red packaging. Um, and they just have your traditional formula of lipstick in there. Uh, there's also a face palette. Mm. Looks like there's maybe three highlighters and a bronzer. Possibly, yeah. Or a matte bronzer, shimmery bronzer, bronzer, two highlighters. I don't know, but they've all got the sort of gold star packaging. We've seen some... Um, 
Spellbinder Shadows? Yes. Yeah. These actually look interesting. So we've seen these before from MAC. They're like a pigment that is um, magnetically uh, like pressed, Charged. pressed yeah. into the thing. You can move it around. It stays in, uh, which is really cool. But some of the swatches of these make them look really unique, like mm. sparkly but different dimension to them. It kind of looks fun. Um, and then we've also seen lip glosses in this sort of uh, weird flat lay photo. Mm. So... There's a few things coming, and um, we'll update you when we probably have the full collection because yeah, it's very I, annoying. Yeah, I think dribbling it out is not great. Something else that we saw from MAC uh, coming from Dominic MUA was a selection of 36 eyeshadows, um, and he is saying that they're new eyeshadows. Some other people are saying that some of them are re-promotes, so... We're not really sure. The information's a little bit confusing. Yeah. Um, but there are 36 shades. It's a lot. Yeah. He's saying that it's coming to the UK in October. 15 will be limited edition and 12 will be permanent. Mm. So um, he's actually one of like the head MUAs for Mac. So he gets a lot of uh, these information, all this information early. So there's that. Yeah. We've also seen these strange blushes. Yeah, include so, packaging. Yeah, so these actually look like some of their um, normal sort of baked blushes, just in clear frosted packaging. So I'm not sure what that collection will be coming from, but it sounds like it might be a summer. No, summer is coming up for us. Um, maybe a winter collection? Yeah. I don't know. It's, you wouldn't pick that packaging for a winter collection, but maybe. It's sort of frosty. I yeah. don't know. The colors look very bright, though. Yeah, like we can see coral a mauve of like vibrant pink and a plum so um but it is placed around here alongside the pony collection and um some of the holiday collection mm. it says spring summer at the top i don't know if that's oh, yeah. going to be related to it so mm. that's some stuff coming from mac and just to remember this frosted packaging because it crops up a bit in this episode it does uh, and it, it's sparked some debate all right, last week from Natasha Denona, we talked about uh, a sneak peek of some holiday releases coming out. And um, I did put some stuff on the screen, but we didn't talk through it because we didn't have the information at the time. Um, the first thing we've seen is the new Glow Gold Limited Edition Duo Highlighter. So this features a diamond powder and a super glow, um, and it's launching the 17th of September. So this is, yeah, one of her traditional like little mini highlighter blush type duo things but in this instance um they're just both gold highlighters with different formulas so the super glow is more of your traditional highlighter and the diamond powder is more sparkly so um that's limited edition we also saw the mini gold palette mm. um so this is actually quite interesting it's also releasing 17th of september and is exclusive to sephora now, um, this is quite different from the gold palette. Um, mm. On the screen, I will have a comparison. And it's interesting because when she released her last one, this um, Tropic palette, the mini Tropic, they actually took the exact shades from the Tropic palette and put it in the mini. In this instance, they've actually created a very different color story. Yeah, they're all new shades. They're all new shades and they're all, it's a different vibe. This mm. is more like camo. Yeah. Whereas um, the green, oh, the, sorry, the gold palette is like gold, gold and also turquoise. Mm. So I actually quite like this because if you've got the gold palette, it pairs nicely with it. Yeah. But also if you use it on its own, it gives a completely different vibe. Some people love it. Some people are disappointed. I get both. I totally understand. The thing that gets me about this that I sort of wish they changed a little bit is... Um, I feel like some of the colors are really nice, but there's two dark shimmers in there. And I feel mm. like that's too limiting for a five pan palette. Mm. If I had like a highlight shade or, a you know, more gold highlight shade or something, you've got the sort of crease, you've got the kind of lid color, the interesting green pop of color, a dark color to smoke it up. Why not have a dark matte or a mm. shimmery green? I sort of feel like the two dark shades yeah, are too similar. There's no dark matte in there. You've only got, like, the only mattes in there. You've got a light and maybe a mid-tone. Yeah, they really should have turned one of the dark shades into a matte. So you can... Because if you're going to... Like, for me personally, if I'm going to use a dark color like that, I prefer a matte mm. uh, to sort of... Um, 
define the eye. But yeah, so I think this one, not my favorite, but I do like the direction it was going in. I think it's good that they've created a, a small palette to complement a large palette yep. that has all new shades. I agree. So if you brought the gold palette and you are, you know, a crazy purchaser of Natasha Denona, you can buy it. You can yeah. add it to your stash without doubling up. Yeah, and it complements and takes it into a different direction yeah. rather than just having a little replica, which yeah. is what the um, Safari one, yeah. no, Tropic one Tropic, was like. Yeah. Yep. Another thing from Natasha Denona is the Metropolis palette. Yes. So this is going to be available on the 9th of September. So when you're watching this, it's already out. Yeah, it's interesting though because it says 9th and then it also says launching 10th. 10th. So I'm not sure which one it is. So it's a little bit confusing. Okay. But this is a limited edition anniversary palette. Mm. Um, And it's different to the other palettes because it's larger than the ones she's been bringing out recently like... The Tropic, the Safari, the Bieber, the Gold. Mm. It's larger than that, but it's smaller than her massive palettes that she brought out originally. These are also a little bit different because they've got a new pan size. So normally they have either the large pan size or a mini, which is Mm. what you get in the mini palettes. This one has a midi size. So the palette is $129 US dollars for the amount of eyeshadows you get in here, which is um, $28 new shades uh generally if they were the large size this would cost you like 300 bucks almost so they have reduced the price but they've reduced the size of the pans there's also two new formulas in here um along with other ones that's nothing different every time you you buy a natasha denota palette they're different formulas yeah what do you think of this palette because it's it's getting um mixed Um, opinions and I, i i get it i get both sides i don't mind it I feel like it looks a little bit different in a lot of photos that I've seen of it. Like here, I feel like it looks muted and sad. And yeah. there, it looks, looks really vibrant. Vibrant. Um, look, I'm I'm not going to buy it. I don't hate it, but I don't need it. Yeah, I, I feel like interested. this is... Um, it feels like it's two palettes squished together. Yeah. Uh, it sort of feels like it's a green gold... Like, yeah, a green gold situation... Um, and then also an orange blue situation. I know. I'm so sick of the pop of blue. Yeah, like, but, it's, but it's got like four pops of blue. I know. And the thing that I think gets me most about this that I that I'm not going to buy. There are elements to it, and if I zoom in on little like sections, I'm like, yeah, that's really yeah. cool. But I don't need all of it to no. get there. Um, but what sort of annoyed me a little bit about it is if you actually do look at it and you look at um, swatches. The colors look really redundant. So there's probably about four or five or six golds. Um, There's a couple of oranges. There's two shimmery blues that look the same. There's two matte blues that look the same. I just feel like this is... It's very redundant. This palette, when I look at it, it just sort of flashes me back to everything she's released in the last 12 months. And it feels like she's just taken what didn't make it into palettes and chucked it all in a palette. Yeah. I, I don't think this is cohesive and I feel like the the layout of it as well looks a bit confusing. But like if you look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shimmery champagne golds. Why do you need eight? Why do, I don't know why I need eight. You don't so, need eight. So yeah, for you me You certainly don't need eight in one fucking palette. Yeah. In a twenty eight pan palette. Yeah. Like, it's it's a bit much. Nah. So for me it's a it's a pass, but there are people that are excited for it if you love that colour story and yeah. you love her formula and that yeah. I totally get that as well. All right, we've seen what I think is the full collection, um, the two-faced holiday collection. So let's run through the products. Yeah, if they release more, I'm going to be disappointed. But I feel like this is pretty on par with what they've released in the past. Yeah. So this is all launching later this month. I'm not sure the date, um, but there's a gingerbread extra spicy eyeshadow palette, which we've seen before. It's 49 US dollars. This is all in US dollars, so I'm not going to say US dollars time and time again. We've got the Melted Gingerbread Girl um matte lipstick and the gingerbread man so these are both re-release uh they're 21 us dollars we've got the gingerbread bronzed and kissed pack this is 39 dollars value of 69 and we've seen this before in past episodes so it's the gingerbread bronzer the peach kiss matte lipstick that both smell like christmas cookie and there's a gingerbread makeup bag that we've seen as well 
There's the Better Not Pout, but if you do keep a glossy kit, this is $25. Um, and it contains uh, rich and dazzling high shine sparkling lip glosses. Um, they're all limited edition Christmas shades and they all have a different scent. Mm. So we've got eggnog, spice cake, peppermint bark, sugar plum. Now, I, this is probably the updated pack from last year where they had the mini melted matte lipsticks. Mm. That was a fantastic pack. I am really bummed to see that they brought out sparkly lip glosses this year. Um, I don't think they're going to sell as well because no one... They're not as usable in my opinion. No, I won't be buying this. I won't be buying it either. I actually don't think I'll be buying anything from this no, collection. I don't want it. Yeah, which is a shame. Usually I buy something yeah. each year. There's also the Gingerbread Sugar Kissable Body Shimmer. So this is $32. Um, and it's, yeah, it's... I don't fucking get this. Yeah, it's a, it's a shimmery body glow product in a sort of bronze color. So if you're fair, it would add like a tan bronze color. But if you're deeper, it would be more like a highlighter. Um, and it tastes like fresh baked gingerbread cookies. Um, Nobody's licking highlighter off your body. It's fucking feral, all right? <laughs> Slow your roll, you weirdos. Fair. Um, Come here. And, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Fucking what? Yeah, it's weird. No. Uh, we've got the Let It Snow Girl. This is $49, and it's a limited edition Christmas themed makeup collection. It includes a deluxe Better Than Sex mascara in uh, limited edition candy cane packaging, a large breakaway palette of 19 multi-finish eyeshadows, uh, medium breakaway palettes. This is this is actually like a snowman. It's yeah. got the head, the sort of chest and the yeah. bottom area. The medium palette has four blushes and then the small palette, which is a head, has a, high, a highlighter and a bronzer. There's the Hot Buttered Rum Palette, which we've seen before. It's $25. It's just a little uh, six-pan palette. I don't mind that. I might actually get it. I don't Eight mind Eight-pan palette, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so there we go. There's those. Then we've got the Christmas Cookie House Party. This is $58. It claims a 353 value. Stop it. Which is... Ridiculous. So this is a large breakaway palette. So it's got 20 multi-finish eyeshadows, a medium breakaway palette of six glitter and matte eyeshadows, a small breakaway palette of three face products, a deluxe Better Than Sex mascara, a deluxe Melted Matte Gingerbread Man, and a deluxe Shadow Insurance. Um, so that's actually not a bad little pack if you want to yeah. try a selection of their products. So that one is a similar concept to um, the snowman, but it's a little house and the roof is the face palette, the Maybe house. the door or the, yeah. So yeah, the house is the main eyeshadow palette and yeah. the door is a glitter and matte sort of yeah. travel palette. Yeah. Then we have two Christmas tree ornaments. They both contain a mini mascara. One is a better than sex deluxe mascara and one is a damn girl deluxe mascara. They're both $13 each. So I think that's the whole collection and that's launching at Sephora in the US. I hope that's a whole fucking collection. I know. If it's not, Fuck. good luck to you. Urban Decay. Um, we believe this is holiday as well. It looks like they've lumped their honey palette in with this. So yeah. we're just going to go with it. Um, so as we know, Naked Honey Palette. Uh, there's also Lip Plumpers in Honey, Heat and Cherry. These are glossy lip glosses with scents and sparkles. So honey is a light gold with a gold sparkle. Heat is a burgundy with bronze sparkles and cherry is a soft peachy pink with pink iridescent sparkles. Then we have spent scented sparkling body powder. What is the deal with this? They've taken a note out of It was never cool. Place. It's not cool now. Let no. it go. Um, again, the scents are honey, heat and cherry. Then we have Sweet Little Vices Lipstick Set. So this contains four mini lipsticks. We've got Keep Tame, which is a honey-flavored sheer medium warm nude. There's California Honey. Again, it's honey-flavored, but it's a metallic golden orange with gold shimmer. Urban Decay with their metallic lipsticks. Let it go. Let it go. Um, Bing is a cherry flavored bright pink comfort matte and Red Hot is a cinnamon flavored bright red comfort matte. Then we have the Seeking Sugar Perversion Mascara plus Heavy Metal Liner Duo. So that's a perversion mascara and a 
heavy metal liner in a, a gold, gold shade. Yeah. Um, there's also the Seeing Double Eyeshadow Primer Potion Duo. I'm pretty sure they do this every yeah, year. Yeah, they do. Duo of the primer potions. Then we've got the Honey Pot. This is a pack that contains a mini honey eyeshadow palette. It's got yeah. six shades. There's a Honey Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Amber, and the Honey Scented All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Yeah, I'm not sure if the primer potion is a different color or no. if the packaging's just different. It's like it's got a yellow packaging. Yeah. So yeah. we're not too sure what's inside. Then we have the Holiday Hall of Fame set. So this has an eyeshadow primer potion, 24-7 glide on eye pencil in perversion, the perversion mascara and the all nighter makeup setting spray. There's also the Honey Eyeshadow Primer Potion Ornament. They've got the All Nighter Setting Spray Ornament and they have it in a honey version as well. So if you want that. And then they have the Drop Vault. Now this contains the Naked Honey Palette, the Honey Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the Honey Lip Plumper, the Scented Sparkling Body Powder and the Scented All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Yeah, so that's the big shebang it is the big shebang so this is going to be out round when you're watching this 13th of september um on the urban decay cosmetics and sephora website and then 25th 23rd. sorry 23rd of september at ulta beauty yep my god that's that a big one is just so much i'm actually quite surprised that they've run with the honey thing when they didn't even test the waters to see if it was a popular theme and they made it their full holiday collection. Like, they mm. had a lot of faith in that palette. And I think it's interesting that they're dipping back throughout the year and, like, heat and cherry. On heat and cherry. Yeah, it's interesting. It feels like instead of creating something that's fun and, like, a celebration, they're just trying to flog their yeah. stuff. I don't know. It's I, a bit weird. I think, it's a I bit think weird. Urban Decay, Decay are going to get left behind this year for me. It's just not it's fair. No, I think that's fair. I think I want to get the the honey palette, yeah. but I don't need all the nah. stuff around it. All right. So over the weekend, there were two sort of things that we want to talk about before we get into new stuff. The first one was Sephora. So Sephora happened. It's like Sephora's little makeup festival thing. We talk about Mecca Land in Australia. Sephora is one in the US. Um, and what we did see was a bunch of products that were released early as an like a Sephora exclusive, and then they're coming at a later date. So I'm going to run through the products. Some of them are new, some of them are updates, but um, it's just easier to run through them all together. Yeah. So the first thing we've seen the NARS Inferno Eye Palette. So this launched. It's officially launching on the 24th of September. Um, this one I actually thought might be one that you're interested in. Yeah, maybe. Um, it's got some reds and it's got some sparkles. I don't mind it. I don't yeah. mind it. But I've actually got my eye on something else that Fair. they might be releasing. Fair. We'll, uh, see. we'll see. Uh, there's all, there was also a pre-release of the Urban Decay Honey Naked Honey Palette, which is officially launching on the 13th. Um, Benefit had a limited edition Rose Gold Precisely My Brow Pencil, which was a Sephora exclusive. Uh, Gucci released a Flora Emerald Gardenia fragrance launching 11th of December. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury released the limited edition palette of Pop Quad, uh, which is launching in store 26th of September. Probably the one that most people were in interested in was Fenty released the Glossy Posse Gloss Balm Set, um, which is launching the 1st of October. Now, I wanted to just touch on this really quickly because... Um, this is a mini set of the lip glosses that are very, very popular. The gloss bombs. Yeah, the gloss bombs. Not um, even going to lie, I'm actually tempted. Yeah, look, it's a great way to test them out. Mm. But one thing that was interesting is there's only one shade that's a permanent shade. Mm. So there are four new shades in here. Some of them look like sort of double ups from the existing range. But um, the only one that's a double up is that fussy shade. Mm. So the new shades are Pretty Please, Confetti, Hot Chocolate, and Cheeky. So it's 42 US dollars. Other things that launched early, we've got the Melt Cosmetics uh, Radioactive Palette. So this actually launched online over the weekend at Melt website, but it's officially launching online 13th of September at Sephora. So it was an early release. Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette launched. 
Um, the Pharmacy Beauty Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, which is officially launching on the 25th of September. We talked about this last week. Yeah. That launched over the weekend. The um, Briogeo. Yeah. Don't Despair Repair Honey, honey Bear, Bear Mask. mask. And it's in ridiculously cute. Packaging. It's very cute. Yeah, it's like that old it's school like honey, honey bear yeah. squeezy tube. That's officially launching 4th of October. Way Super Dry Shampoo uh, launched. It's officially launching 13th of September. And Beauty Blender had the Jewel Box that contains a sponge and a limited edition gemstone soap that's officially launching 27th of September. I think that would be a sneak peek of Lovely their holiday, holiday. releases. Um, so that all of that, if you went to Sephora, you had access to that kind of stuff. Cool. The next thing that happened last weekend, um, yes. this is one that we see sort of new makeup brands popping up at, um, but we had a bit of drama coming out of it, which we'll talk mm. about last, but uh, DragCon happened. Yeah. Um, so we saw from DragCon um, the launch of a brand new brand. So mm. Willem, which is a drag queen and act- actor and model, I think. Um, was well known uh, as the face of what was that brand that disappeared? OCC Lifters. OCC. Yeah, Willem was the face of that for a while. But um, Willem brought out a new brand called Cover Boy. Mm. So this launched, um, and it is also online, but it is uh, available available for pre order. Yes. So you, you could buy it at DragCon, but otherwise, um, it's pre-order there's glitter jellies 12 us dollars each in roller pink gem blue balls and goldie glitter this is sort of feeling a little bit trixie mattel yeah cosme- trixie cosmetics I with know. the glitter um there's also lip varnishes 16 us dollars in puss which is pink red truffle which is a gold um black bald which is black and true blue which is a light blue these are like um liquid lipsticks and they've got like a shiny finish Mm. um and then we've seen a bunch of lashes so there's a a 301 and done lash which is 15 us dollars it comes in black and blue there's a day lash for 15 dollars the fiver lash blue which is 10 dollars party girl lash 12 dollars or pigeon lash $18. $18. Mm. Now, what I really like about this is that there's like it ranges $10 to $18. So it's pretty affordable. Yeah, it is affordable. Yeah. And even though they don't look like super high quality, no. they they look like they, they sort of work with. They look like drag lashes. They look like they, drag lashes. They look like drag lips. They look like yeah. drag glitter. So it, it works well and it's it's fairly affordable for those products. And it sort of works well with Willem's makeup as well. So mm. I think um, it works it, it, it's sort of cohesive. Uh, a few people wanted to know if the glitter is biodegradable. I assume that it's not no. because if glitter has to be in a gel, like it dissolves if it's yep. biodegradable. So if you see a glitter product in a liquid or a gel, it's never it's biodegradable not- because it will degrade. Another collection that we saw at DragCon was from Miss Fame Beauty. So this consists of a 10 pan eyeshadow palette. It's 49 US dollars. It's it's kind of warm, uh, cool with a pop of warm. Yeah, it's um, interesting. People, from what I've seen, their biggest issue about it is it's all shimmer. But I kind of, I get that. Yeah. And I think there would have been, it would have been more solid if some of these shades were matte. matte. Yeah. But I still feel like it's a nice balance and it sort of makes sense with drag. Yeah. Yeah, it does. That's fair. Then we have uh, some glitters. Now, they're 15 US dollars each and there's three shades. We've got Force of Nature, which is a chameleon glitter with an emerald base that bends to a bold blue. We've got Tantric. It's a nude glitter with an orange hue and holographic light reflection. And then Earth Shattering, which is a chameleon green into like a copper finish. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Then you can buy it all as a collection, which is essentially the palette and the three glitters for 79 US dollars. And $3 of each sale will go directly to the Hetrick Martin Institute to support underserved LGBTQ youth in New York. Yeah. So that was available at DragCon, but it's also available for pre-order online and it ships at the end of September. And I don't know if we said it's the Under My Skin collection. 
So, there we go. There we go. Now, probably the thing that came out of DragCon that is most talked about is a sneak peek of an upcoming palette from Wet n Wild. So, Wet n Wild showed this big 40 pan eyeshadow palette. Um, they have since taken it off their Instagram, which is very interesting. Mm. So, they said, first look at our new 40 pan. 40 palette available exclusively at DragCon uh, New York City coming to Wet n Wild Beauty uh, dot com this fall. Now, the reason why this has sparked a lot of drama, and I'm sure if you're watching this on the YouTube video and not listening in the podcast, you will see what this looks very similar to. Mm -hmm. um, so this palette, if you zoom in, we don't even need to zoom in. People bought it. They yep. took photos of it. We've seen it. Mm -hmm. This is Wet n Wild's dupe for the James Charles Morphe palette. Now, the only differences I can spot is that the James Charles Morphe palette had seven shades, large pans in the middle of the palette, whereas this has the same size pans throughout the whole palette, and they've added one extra brown. Every other thing is almost identical, uh, except for a placement of... Yeah, maybe uh, some swapped yeah, shades. Yeah, one, two shades that have sort of been swapped. So this one caused a bit of a fuss, not only because why is Wet n Wild getting into the blatant copying market? Why is Wet n Wild creating 40 pan palettes? Yeah, and that's the thing that we've seen. Another brand that we're going to be talking about has created a massive palette, it seems like. Um, oh, I need some scotch in my coat. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. But so the thing that, so besides that, besides the question of why, yeah. which we didn't get the answer to, if yeah. anything, we got the deleted Instagram post. Yeah. Um, so when they shared this on Twitter, which was linked to their Instagram, it was the same, so it was a similar post, but a different image. Um, someone replied saying, being affordable doesn't mean you can steal other people's ideas, especially without consent and profit off, off it. You may think you're clever with this right now, but wait until you get sued, which, eh, okay, cool. Wait, yeah, maybe. it's a typical yeah. Twitter response. Wet n Wild responded to that and said that the James Charles Morphe palette was purchased by Morphe from a Chinese cosmetics manufacturer. Yes. Now, the thing about that is... Who fucking cares? Like, this has caused such a stir. You can say you can see that James Charles actually um, responded to that. He basically said, uh, you're tweeting information out of context to start drama, which I 100% agree with. Yeah, I agree with that. This is beyond unprofessional, 100% agree with. He basically said that the company manufactured his palette which he designed and formulated himself. Every company has a manufacturer that they buy their stock from, including Wet n Wild, which yeah. is probably legit. Now, yeah. essentially, I read Wet n Wild's comment, and if you take out anyone trying to be the voice of reason, which in this case... I can't is, believe it's James Charles. It's actually James Car Charles, and the person who um, was responded to by Wet n Wild, essentially they're saying... Oh, they brought their palette from a Chinese manufacturer. Therefore, we can do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, that's the thing that I find strange about this. So this has sparked a lot of discussion online, a lot of people looking into this company and, you know, um, what's the deal with uh, Morphe and James Charles and this, you know, Chinese company and what's happening and is this true? Um, but essentially what it comes down to is, um, and I, I do actually believe okay i think james charles him talking about here how he he what did he say he designed and formulated it himself he didn't formulate jack shit himself let's be real but he approved the formula that was made yeah, i would agree for the with palette that. yeah yeah the way he worded that is no he didn't he didn't sit there he didn't do it cucky and cosmetics and fucking <laughs> formulate shit himself he didn't formulate he didn't shit, shit either he didn't, but, correct but yeah you know, he's not formulating he's no. not a like cosmetic chemist no he just approved formulas 100%. that he liked i yes. agree i believe that he probably did yeah i agree as yeah. well and because it's a massive release he would have made millions and millions and millions Absolutely. of dollars he wanted to probably get something that worked for him yeah so what wet and wild are sort of giving the opinion of is that uh morphe said yep tick that box we want to order that mm. put our label on it ship it out which yep. i don't think is what happened at all i don't think this is actually 
private labeled in a sense. They've just created a palette and got it manufactured at this Chinese cosmetics manufacturer, which is what a lot of brands do. Most. If you see if you Huda does that, like yeah. if you see anything that says made in China or People's Republic of China, yeah. PRC, they all do it. It's a yeah. cheaper way to do it. It is what it is. And often it's the faster way to do it. That's yeah. why with big massive releases like James Charles Morphe palette, they kind of go, well, we need mass amounts and we need it quickly and we need it cheaply. Send it to China. That's often what happens. So what I see Wet n Wild doing is <laughs> deflecting the blame. Yeah. So what hap- what the crux of the situation is is simply that they copied a very, very popular palette, probably arguably the most like popular palette over the last 12 months. They copied it shade for shade, but inserted one other shade and changed the pan sizes to be all uniform. And now instead of actually justifying why they did that, they're like, look over there. That person did something shit too. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's and you're like, exactly what they're that doing. is not even relevant to what <laughs> is happening here. Why did you copy... One of the biggest, like, well-known palettes of the last 12 months. Like, how they made their thing has no relevance to the situation, except for you're just trying to create a lot of white noise around the issue. So people... People love to hate Morphe, you know, totally understand that. Yeah, and they love to hate James Charles. Yeah, and so all of a sudden they're given a carrot to pursue, to go down that path. Yeah. And that's where they go. Instead of actually going, yeah, that's cool, Wet and Wild. I don't give a fuck. Why did you copy it? And, the, and instead of actually answering that, they're just no. like, look over there. Yeah. They're not taking any responsibility for it. No. You know what they say. Any publicity is good publicity. But that's not actually true because mud sticks and shit stinks. That's true. And currently you're covered in it. All right, let's get on to new stuff. That was new stuff. That was the drama of the week. It was. Let's run through some new stuff quickly because otherwise it's a long episode. Let's get on to the actual new stuff that's relevant. Woo! All right, Artist Couture. We have seen their holiday palette. So this is called Midnight Maven. It consists of eight shades with matte and shimmery finishes and it is $29. It looks like there are two super duper sparkly shades, one metallic, and then five mattes. Yeah, I really like the swatches of this. I think it looks a lot more appealing than the pans. I'm not saying that the pans are unappealing, but um, they look quite... It's sort of like dark but bright, if that makes sense. Like pop a pink, like... Um, we're sort of over the pop of pink. We are. Like, we it's are, in we are, so we many are. palettes yeah. these days, you kind of go, oh, how often do you use a bright yeah. Barbie pink? Um, and that's definitely still in there, and that's a bold color. But the other colors around it yeah. look quite smoky, and I can really get the midnight sort of vibe yeah, with it. Yeah, midnight maven. I really get it. Yeah, yeah I get it I as get well. It. So, I respect the palette. Like, it's probably not something that I would buy, but I think it's actually been well done. I think the color story is smart. And I will say... If that bright pink wasn't in there, would probably buy. I probably would be about twenty steps closer to buying. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But this is officially launching at art- artistcouture.com uh, on the thirteenth today. Today or, or tomorrow, well, tomorrow if you're watching this yes. and it's Thursday night. Uh, we've also seen a new palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the Golden Twilight palette. It's got sixteen colors. Um, Are you sure. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not, not very golden, is it? Or very twilight. It's like, look it's at the brown. swatches. Yeah, it's, it's, a... it's, it's interesting, isn't it? It's, Are you sure? It's sort of like a, I would call this a mountain palette. You've got yeah. browns like soil. You've got a green like leaves. You've got like a lake kind of blues. Yeah. Um, this is more earthy than it is golden, golden twilight. twilight but, yeah. So that's $12 and available now. That's affordable. From Charlotte Tilbury, we've seen two new items. We have a new Matte Revolution lipstick in Sunset Lover, which is a coral. It's 25 pounds. And we have seen the Bigger Brighter Eyes or Transform Eyes Quad Palette. This is 40 pounds. It consists of a shimmering champagne gold, shimmering copper gold, a dark chocolate brown, and a deep Brick red to help you create eyes that look... Oh, my God. Who even cares? Wider Let me and buy bright. it right yeah. now. Wider and brighter. <laughs> Wider whatever. and brighter. Blah, 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 blah. It's got two mattes in it and two shimmers. Yeah. Look, I think that might be one of the 
Look, it's basic, but it works. Oh, mate, it's basic, bitch, and I want it. It's, ba- it's basic and it works. I think it might be the only thing I want right now. That's, <laughs> that's fair. All right, Clinique have released some new skincare. It's a little bit confusing. Hopefully, yeah. we get through it. I, mm, it's weird, but it's available everywhere you can buy Clinique. So... Uh, the main thing they're advertising is the Smart Clinical MD Multidimensional Age Transformer Duo Resculpt and Revolumize. Um, and this is two moisturizers in one jar. So it's split down the middle and you have two formulas in there. You could also buy each formula individually in its own tub if yeah. you wanted it that way. But the good thing is they're all the same price. Yes. So uh, they're all $69 US dollars. Um, so you can try both. 50-50 or you can buy them individually. Um, the re-sculpt one, so it's designed to correct lines and wrinkles, mm. dullness and uneven tone. Yeah. Then there's the revolumize one that has three different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid to achieve a plumped look and technology to help de-age and visibly correct lines and wrinkles. They sound like they do the fucking same thing. They really actually do. And I don't it understand. also just sounds like a bunch of marketing wank. Yeah, marketing wank. I don't um, – look, I love your Clinique, but I've got to move on because I'm, yeah. I'm not in a good mood this episode. <laughs> I like the idea of having the two. So do I. So you can try both. And then yeah. if you only really like one, you can go back and buy the one. Yeah. I like so that I, idea. I like that, but, yeah, anti-aging I'm moisturizers. There you go. Correct. Yeah. Uh, Colourpop. So we have a few things here. Let's start with two small collaboration collections that have been released. We have uh, one with Makeup by Jessie. So this consists of the Jess Shade Lip Bundle. It's 12 US dollars and it contains Echo Park Ultra Satin Lip and Ovi Pencil. Then there is the Forget Me Not Super Super Shock Shadow Foursome, twenty US dollars. It contains Tea Party, which is a peach with a silver sparkle, sequin, which is an ultra glitter finish in a like copper color. Then we have Millionaire, which is another ultra glitter. It's a bronze with a pink and gold hint, and Ritz, which is a sheer glitter that's like a nude to silver kind of shade then you can buy both bundles together 32 us dollars clearly saving zero dollars there saving zero (laughs) dollars then we have one with that girl shay and i'm actually really happy to see this because shay does a lot of color pop videos a lot um so this consists of the ultra femme lip bundle this is 18 us dollars It contains most likely two in the Ultra Matte Lip, Beeper Ultra Matte Lip and Dopey Ultra Satin Lip. There's also a Rose Rose Romance Super Shock Shadow Foursome, 20 US dollars. It contains uh, Brady, which is a soft, dusty matte rose. There's Sequin, which is an ultra glitter. Again, it's the same one in the So that copper color. Then there's Elixir, which is a terracotta matte, and Muse, which is an ultra-metallic rose. There's a One Pigment Forever kit. This is 12 US dollars. It consists of Elysian, which is a bronze. The Dunes is a raspberry with a gold flip. And Power Up, which is a neon pink. And then you can buy all three packs for 50 US dollars. Saving zero. Zero dollars <laughs> saved. Can I also point out that uh, every single thing in these collections existing. are existing. Yes. They're, you can buy them individually. They're just picked. Like, they've curated different yeah. packs. Um, I yep. sort of – I like that they're collaborating with sort of smaller so do influencers yep. or channels or whatnot, but I wish they put in a little bit more effort on ColourPop's end. Yeah. To create some I agree. custom shades like because, them, like, they have both chose sequin. Like, for good gods, like, ColourPop, you were gonna release like 60 million more things this year. Let yeah. them, let them have yeah. some. Yeah, or at least take some shades they really like and like marble them or make duo pans Do or something, something. Something a little bit different. These Just girls, to, they deserve more than that. Yeah, I agree. Um, another collaboration that we've seen, so this is the last ColourPop thing we're talking about, but as per usual, 
Go to our Instagram account because no doubt by the there'll time this is up, there'll yeah. be three more releases. Uh, this is another collection with mm. Kathleen Lights. Mm. Now, um, uh, look, we've been quite harsh on the Kathleen Lights collections in the past. Some people agree. Some people rage at us for it. And um, the premise behind it is that, like, what she was doing in my eyes was releasing quite boring releases just because. Yeah. Like, here's another nude lip. Here's yeah. another warm-toned lip. Here's another fucking Super Shock Shadow Boring. So I just found that it was creating just excess bulk. This, I disagree that that's the case. I feel like they've actually created something a little bit different from the range, which is nice to see. It is... A 30 pan so jaded palette. Mm -hmm. um, now, we're getting back into the Morphe territory. Wow. Yeah. This is, brands are starting to embrace their really big palettes again, the desk palettes, which is a little bit unfortunate, but at least it's the color story is a little bit different. So, this is already launched. It's $39, which is pretty good. And what I personally like about it is I believe there's only one repeat shade. That's pretty good. I think every other shade is a new shade. And what I do quite like is I'm the kind of person that looks at a palette and I sort of segregate little sections. I'm like, okay, I can see a little like autumn color story going here, a basic brown, a bit of like a, you know, cool tone thing going on. I can see a lot of variety in this palette and it's not warm with a pop of blue. Like there are warms and there are pops of blue, but it doesn't feel... Like it's just regurgitating the same shit that we've seen multiple times over. So there is a, you know, sort of gem, jewel-toned theme to this. Do we all need it? Probably not. Fuck no. Fuck no. But there are some really nice swatches coming out of it where I see little sections where I'm like, that's very pretty. And I can see that this is a palette that people can take throughout the whole year and create a lot of versatile looks with it. So out of all the Kathleen Lights ColourPop collections I personally have seen, I think this is actually one of the better ones. Is it going to take get my money? Probably no. not. But there are some really beautiful finishes in here. And like I said, you can sort of take it throughout the whole year, day to night, which I think is pretty good. I like the palette um, as it is, like just looking at it. Yeah. But when I see the swatches, I'm like, nah, not interested. Bye. See, I think because I'm sort of into the basic browns right now, I like that the middle of the palette is brown. I can kind of see how you work out to add little pops of other color. Um, and I can sort of see some fall inspired stuff, some more like spring, some more winter. I kind of get it, but I, I don't personally need it. So I think I'm so jaded by so many releases. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that, that happens too. Another holiday something something. This is from Cult Beauty. We don't have much information on this other than they are releasing their first ever advent calendar. So this looks like it's going to be a 25 door. Wait, yes. wait. Wait. They're saying it's a 31 piece. But I wonder if that's because there's multiples in a there particular must be. drawer. It's going to be 195 pounds. You can sign up to their pre order i believe on their website it's meant to be valued at over 680 pounds um but if you're interested check it out because it will sell out quick sticks yeah and there's some cool brands in here there like are. you know you see a little nas one of their cool um their matte liquid lipsticks yeah there's a mini one there's a laura mercier powder there's, there's a bronze and glow from natasha Denona. yeah there's a um Huda Beauty full yep. size lipstick. There's a Joe Loves candle, like glow recipe. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff in there. Yeah, I'm I'm interested. Like I don't need this stuff, and yeah. it's a, it's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. But I do see the excitement, and if you do like a bougie like advent calendar that can take you throughout the whole year, yeah, you can sample a bunch of stuff. That looks like a pretty good one. All right, Elf Elf Cosmetics have released uh, three Halo Glow setting powders. So we are seeing this pop up more and more where people are creating loose setting powders with some luminosity to them, which I like the concept of. Generally, the execution is a bit poor, but mm. we'll see. These are $8 each and they're available now on the website. Uh, there is light, medium and deep. So it says that it is uh, silky weightless texture 
um, and it drapes the skin for a dreamy blurred soft focus finish. So it's created with finely milled synthetic sapphire particle particles to give your skin a soft glow. So I don't mind the idea of it. I think it sounds cool. You know what concerns me? Yeah, the amount Even of shimmer. Even from afar, in the the deep shade, it looks like it's got light sparkle in it. That concerns yeah, me. Yeah, that does look like it's got a lot of sparkle in it. I wonder though, I wonder, that could be because the sparkle they use in each of them might be the same. And it sort of looks really reflective compared to the deeper base. Yeah. Whereas I think what brands... But how's that, that going to translate on the skin? Probably not well. Yeah, um, that's right. But I, I wonder... Yeah, I look, it, yeah, it definitely looks like it's going to be a lot shinier in mm. the darker one. But you can barely see it in the medium and the light. Yeah. So I feel like maybe the iridescent... Just the it, it's a better tone for the lighter shades, maybe, um, which is a bit of a shame. They should have chosen a better shimmery sort of addition ingredient mm. for the darker one, so it looks a little bit more natural. All right, Hourglass Holiday Collection. I don't think this is going to be every single thing that they released, but we've got a fair bit. We'll give you the information that we've had. So it looks like it's going to launch sometime in October. Um, and we've seen two ambient lighting palettes. We have the Ambient Lighting Ghost Unlocked, which looks to be a repromote of last year's color story with yeah. different packaging. And then we have the Ambient Lighting Ghost, which is a new color selection. Which is not, like their wardrobe type yes, format. Yeah. Yeah. So not all new shades, but a new layout. And there will be some... I'm sure there'll be some shades in here, at least one or two that will that be are new. are probably new and then they release them later in the year. Yeah. So the shades that I can tell you 100% are in the Ghost Palette, which is the newer color layout for 2019. We've got Dim Light Finishing Powder, Diffuse Light Finishing Powder, Iridescent Strobe Light Finishing Powder. I don't know why they call it a finishing powder. It's a DM highlighter. Yeah. Uh, Eternal Bronze Light Bronzer. The Iridescent Rose Strobe Blush and the Sublime Flush Blush. The shades that are in the Ghost Unlocked, which is a re-promoted colour story from last year, are Soft Light, Filtered Light, Golden Bronze Light, Nude Glow, Mood Flush and Champagne Strobe Light. So two powders, one bronzer, two blushes and a highlight. Yeah, all the same as last year. Yes. Um, how these differ is their packaging. So the top is silver uh, and the bottom is what appears to be a frosted plastic. Or a lunchbox. Potentially. <laughs> yeah, so this is, once again, the MAC frosted packaging. Seems to be coming back as yeah. a theme, this frosted packaging. I don't know who... The packaging companies must have really sold Look, this idea as I being don't like know the next who thing. who allowed this. If... I was working at Hourglass and I had any say in this packaging. I would have literally been throwing fucking bricks to say no. Because you know what ruins this? It's not the fact that it's clear plastic, all right? Hourglass has plastic packaging every year. Yeah, they do. Hate to break it to you. It's just covered up with a pretty finish. Those lines... Yeah. You it, just... It, it makes it look like a lunchbox. It box. makes it look like Tupperware. Yeah. Or so a dull. takeaway food container. Look, I think... Look, okay. So whenever this is mentioned, the biggest issue people is have... Is the packaging. Is the packaging. Yeah. And I do think it looks quite cheap. Yeah. I respect where people are coming from. I agree. Yeah. I actually think they should have gone ham and just gone all plastic. And so you had the lid that had like a frosted see-through yeah. top. So when you got it closed, you can see the shades through it. Yeah. I think may if you're well. going to do it, may as well go all yeah. out, but they've got the silver top instead. But they really needed to work with the company to make sure yeah. it didn't have those shitty... Yeah. To make it look luxe. Like, yeah, make yeah. it look expensive. Yeah. Make, make it could. look special. Yeah. Like... I like what they've done because I feel like the transparent packaging is different. Yeah. Although it looks like it's only going to be different for about five more minutes before yeah. 10 other brands have True. sneak peek something with this packaging. Um, I like Hourglass. I think they make great products. And at the end of the day, the quality is what's important to me on the inside. Same. But I do think that they could have 
pushed and pulled for a a, slight, a better look. Yeah. I, I want to say, though, in the past years, like, we've had um, marble packaging, yep. rose gold packaging, yep. blah, 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 blah. Gold. Gold. And, yeah, and, silver. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they've had all this packaging that looks great in a photo, mm. but if you actually pick it up, it feels super cheap because it's lightweight plastic. It's just light plastic. It's just colored plastic. Yeah. So um, I actually think this might be the reverse this time around where it looks cheap in a photo, which is a no go because people buy things based on what looks good in photos Appearance, these days. Yeah. But I think this might actually like surprise you in person. I think it might actually look a little bit more interesting in person i think it's interesting i've been around a few people who've never played with hourglass yeah. in person and then they go into a store and they pick it up and they're they like, go oh is... it feels so cheap yeah, and i'm like what do you expect doll they're not actually making fucking yeah. packaging out of metal and marble like <laughs> i think no i think because the price tag is pretty high people yeah, expect people the expect packaging to be, to be uh, really yeah. luxe and, it, yeah. and it's not yeah, it is, it is a bit day, of a disappointment when you pick yeah, up those their palettes. palettes are all plastic all yeah. of them. Yeah. The cool things that are generally really nice feeling are the lipsticks. Yes. Now, we do see a pack. Mm. So, mm. Um, this is interesting. It's the lipstick duo. So, we can see that there's one with the applicator and one or two refills. Uh, yeah. So, one ap one applicator yeah. with a lipstick in it and, and a one refill. refill. Yeah. yeah. So, it's a duo pack. They had this sort of pack last year and then they had... Um, a trio with two applicators and yep. an additional refill. Yep. Now, what is interesting about this one is they have taken the plastic to replace metal. Mm. So if you're familiar with this design, they've, once again, they've got that ghost looking thing, which is the sort of frosted plastic and then the metal, which is reflective of the, the palettes. So the base is plastic. The top is that sort of silver finish. But normally these confession lipsticks, the outer packaging is all metal. All metal. Proper metal. Yeah, proper metal. Yeah. The only thing that's actually plastic is the refill that yes. you slot in. So this, they have actually reduced the quality and it mm. will feel lighter and a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Um, I'm just hoping the effect of it's pretty cool. One thing I do like about this, mm. and you'll appreciate this, you can see the color before you have to open yeah, the damn that's packaging. Always, that's always a yeah, pain. Yeah, because the yeah. packaging is uh, so, you know, it's metal. Mm. So to actually see which shade you're picking up, if you've you got have a to collection, physically open you have to open them, them and look at the color, yeah. close it, pick up another one. Yeah, you do. So I, I like that element of this. That yeah. ghost element in this is going to work for me. I know I will buy this set because yeah. I am dedicated to the cause with Hourglass lipstick and getting the limited edition packaging absolutely am, yeah. and also i want them to know that there are customers out there who love that formula and i want to encourage them to continue releasing them make more packs get a bit fun and fancy yeah. with the packaging and stuff like that and while this may not be my absolute favorite packaging from hourglass i've got to say i don't hate it yeah i will buy it but put me on the payroll because that needed to be a frosted tempered glass that's true. That's very true. They could do it. They could, they do, could it. do it. They could do it. Anyway. Yeah, put me on the payroll too. I'll, yeah, I'll, come I'll on. Second Mate, that. <laughs> we both got ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Love can it. work very quietly from behind the scenes. Yeah. Just pay us and you can reap the benefits. Uh, okay, so there is another thing, and I might get this. Yeah, this interests me as well. This is the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow Collection. So this is three pots of their scattered lights eyeshadows. Yes. We don't know the shades yet. No. I'm going to just take a stab in the dark with my plastic lipstick and say a gold. A, it's a pinky burgundy-ish yeah. like light and, like and a maybe rosy a gold. copper or yeah, rosy gold. But these, okay, I'm going to also take a stab in the dark with my, go my ghost pointed <laughs> yeah. stabby thing and say these might be re-promoted shades because I think they've they got probably these are. permanently. I think yeah. they've got four shades yeah. and it wouldn't surprise me if they've just put a nice silver lid on it to, um, so, yeah. And then just chucked it in a pack. I like so, packs. Yeah, I don't mind packs. As long as they're decent value. Did we value. talk about this no. guy? All right. I, I don't mind that. I don't mind this either. This is a blush quad yep. from Hourglass. I'm not... Do we have the no. back of it? No, we've got no information. Damn. All right. So we've got a pink, uh, which has like a sort of nude ripple through it. 
Then there is a sort of brownie nude with a maybe nude champagne, champagne yeah. ripple. We've got like a red with a sort of pale orange coral shift, uh, ripple. And then what looks like mood exposure. Yeah, yeah I would call that which mood is, exposure. Yeah, yeah, sort of like a purpley color with some pinky red tones to it. Yeah, I like that. I like it too. Um, and look, uh, I... I love Hourglass and I want to support their holiday collection. I kind of want to buy their new um, ambient lighting wardrobe, but I can't wear their ambient lighting powders. Highlighters, yeah. bron bronzers and blushes, fine, but it's hard because there's stuff in there that I know I can't wear. So maybe it'll have to be the blush set, which I don't need because I've got too many blushes. Yeah, I, the thing I don't like about this um, ghost palette, yeah. which... A lot of people are digging in. I totally understand that. It's very pink. It and is pink really blushes pink. make me look like a clown. Yeah. Whereas the thing that gets me about the blush quad is the fact that it's got a nude, it's got an orange, it's got a mauve. Yeah. And then it's only got one pink, one which pink, isn't yeah. as bright and as sort it's of like jarring on my softer. skin tone. Yeah. So these are colors that I like. I would love to chuck that out and have a peach in yeah. there. Um, but this is a color story that I would take throughout the year yeah you know i could see spring you know summer autumn winter you can tell you can tell what collection we really love can't you <laughs> we talk about it for like fourteen thousand. We, we did we did <laughs> and all we had to say was yeah the plastic is uh, the package it's like a plastic. tupperware container yeah but we yeah. talked about it for a long no. time yeah okay yeah. yes okay yeah. we yeah. know that we're going to buy our glass because we, we do will. that every we year we do it every year we yeah do. and we don't need to make up for not buying bloody urban decay or too faced that's right motherfuckers mate you're too depressing all right we've got some new products from i heart revolution mm -hmm. we've got a baking powder five pounds this comes in four shades peach coconut chocolate banana and banana and uh they're smelling they, they smell are smelling so they smell yep. like what what the them, name is the na I yeah think. yeah i believe i so. believe so they've also got primers which are six pounds um they're packed with vitamin c and e mm. um and they're designed to target specific skin concerns we've got coconut dream which is hydrating mint chocolate chip which is a color correcting we've got banana split which is a radiance primer Peach Delight, which is mattifying, and Strawberry Whip, which is pore blurring. They're now available. We don't know if they have scents. I would assume not. So from my understanding, only the powders are scented, but I'm not sure. All right. Excellent. Uh, Kiko, we have the newest collection. It's called Pop Revolution. This consists of a whole bunch of things. So we have lip stylos in eight shades. They're £9.99 each. We've got lip glosses in six shades, £8.99 each. There's eyeshadow palettes. These are £9.99 each and they come in three shade variations. So those are actually duos. They sound fancy being palettes, mm. but they're just duos. One has like a brown and champagne combo. One's a red brown with a mauve and one's a wine colored with a gold. Yeah. Then we have the eyeliner and kajals. So there are four shades, $9.99 each. Uh, there's an eye marker for $7.99, an eye pencil in four shade variations for $6.99. There's peach, brown, teal, and black. We have the eyebrow marker in three shades, £7.99, blonde, red, and brown. Interesting. I appreciate that. There you go. Uh, Two-in-one bronzer and highlighter. These are £12.99. You've got two shade variations in sand and sienna. Blush to go in four shades for £9.99. There's a Everything's £9.99. There's a <laughs> highlighter to go in two shades in cool gold and coral. Again, £9.99. There's a primer for $12.99, um, a nail lacquer, $4.99. It comes in four shades. You've got rose, indigo, magenta, and brown. Then there's the nail recovery base, $4.99, micellar cleansing wipes, $2.99, a double-ended eye brush for $9.99, and a blender kit for $8.99. Kiko always gets the jaw muscles. Move van! That's true. That's true. That was a lot. That was a lot. All right, Kim Kardashian has announced that KKW Beauty will be collaborating with Winnie Harlow. Mm. Um, so that is a model. I think she was on America's Next Top Model. 
Yeah, she was. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, she was... I think notoriously a bit of a bitch. Interesting to watch. Yeah, that's what I've, I've heard. Yeah. Um, but they have released a collection. So this is launching 13th of September, so... Right now. Okay. Well, in probably a, in, in a couple next, hours. In the yeah. next 12 hours. Um, and it contains a bunch of stuff. Firstly, there is an eyeshadow palette, 49 US dollars. It's got a bunch of different shades in here. It's uh, what is it, 12 pan, pan palette. palette. Yep. You've got some warm nudes. You've got some rosy no, nudes. You've got a gold. You've got Pop a red. Blue. And you've got a cool tone row as well. So a lot of people are comparing this to the ColourPop Disney Princess palette. I see some similarities, but I also think this is just a pretty basic palette where you've got... I see some similarities to like 100,000 yeah, palettes it's on a the pre- market. Yeah, it's a pretty... Yeah. basic palette it is yeah. uh, it's very kkw um there's also a highlighting duo so it contains luna and soleil highlighters so you've got a golden pink and a warm copper bronze uh so that's a split pan uh we also have lip glosses this is 18 us dollars each um it comes in tiger eye which is a warm nude rose with champagne pearl secret with which is a dust pink with silver pearl and aura which is a soft nude with pink pearl so they're all pearlescent um you can also get the gloss bundle 42 us dollars or the full collection 112 us dollars uh there we go from laura mercier we see um a good chunk of their holiday 2019 collection the artwork on this part of the holiday release is done by Kelly Beeman. So we have the full canvas eye and cheek essentials palette. It's limited edition. It's going to be 120 US dollars. Ouch. Yep. It consists of 15 eye shades. You've got mattes and shimmers and all sorts of You've things. You've got yellows, nudes, yeah. roses, blues, cool silver tone, brown. silver black, yep. all that j- jazz. And then there's also four cheek shades. So they stacked? I believe they stack. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like technically one purchase. It's yep. 120 US dollars. Yes. Which is very expensive. Yeah. But you get sort of two palettes in one. Yes. Yeah. Then we have the Fine Art Eyeshadow Palette. Again, it's limited edition. It's $42. It's eight shades. And you've got mattes and shimmers in there again, I believe. They what? sort of look like all shimmers. No. Oh, crap. God. Of all varieties of like nudes, slightly peachy nude, slightly mauvey nude, slightly brownie nude, slightly silvery nude. Interesting. Okay, yeah. actually yeah, they, they are. are. They're all shimmers. They're all wow. shimmers. All right, there you go. Then we have the Paint the Light Illuminator Trio. This is fifty-two US dollars. So this is uh, one of their highlighting palettes with the wavy. Yeah. Like they used material. To, the last few years they brought out four pan versions. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so did I mention that was 52 US dollars? Maybe. And it contains devotion, inspiration, and obsession. And I want to point out, generally these are repeats from past yes. palettes. I was going to buy, I think it was last year or the year before's one, but I yeah. had the one from the year before that. And it was exactly and the And there same. were like three shades were the same. One was changed out. Yeah. So do keep an eye on Be your collection. Be careful of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we have the Caviar Vault Eye Color Ooh, Collection. Tempted. I know. So this Fuck, is, it's so expensive. You won't want it. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's 200 US dollars and it contains 10 of their Caviar Eye Sticks yep. in shimmer and matte finishes. And they're full size. Yes. The shades are Rose Gold, Amethyst, Moonlight, Au Naturel, Blossom, Vanilla Kiss, Cocoa, Orchid, Sand Glow and Tuxedo. So careful you don't double up on them either. Yep. Then we have the Eyes of Gold Mini Caviar this Stick is more Collection. Up my alley. These are usually good value. So this one is $39 and it consists of Rose Gold, Copper, Burnished Bronze and Cocoa. That's a re-promote. They've yeah. done them before. They do that all the fucking time. I don't know why they do that. And they usually just knock it. Like I remember when I first bought one of these packs, it had six. The yes. next year it had five. Yes. Then it had four. And I'm like, Oh, it's the same price and you're just reducing them, you cheeky yep. bastards. So. And always had the same colours yep. in them. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, then there is the Velour Seduction Lip Duet. This is 20 US, 28 US dollars and it contains two of their, they look like the caviar sticks, but they're the lip ones. Yeah. Uh, it contains Dominate and Fresh. So you've got sort of like a mauve purple and a red. Yeah, I would try this because I've been wanting to try this formula. And the good thing about these minis, they generally contain, okay, don't quote me on this, but it's like, half or three quarters of a full one yeah. for a lot cheaper. Yeah. So I would definitely try this. And the shades are beautiful. Yeah, they are very nice shades. Uh, and then the last items that we have is the Lip Artiste Lip Duets. These are 38 US dollars and they consist of um, one of the Rouge Essential Silky Cream Lipsticks and a lip liner, the Longwear Lip Liners. Yeah. Comes in uh, red and nude variations. And then there's a Caviar Duet Mascara and Shadow Set. It's $29 and it contains a mini caviar stick in rose gold and a full-size caviar volume panoramic mascara. All right, we've seen a new collection from MAC. This is actually... Um, it's launched in Russia, so mm. I don't know if it's coming elsewhere, but it's already available at MAC Cosmetics in Russia. So this is a collaboration with a popular Russian calligraphist and street artist. Okay, I'm going to butcher this name, but Pokras Lamp Lampus. So it's uh, made from re-promoted shades in limited edition packaging mm, designed by so. the artist. So there's eyeshadow nine pan palettes amber times nine burgundy times nine and dusty dusky rose times nine they all ring a bell and there's also a blending brush the 217s um so yeah these are all things that we've seen before just with limited edition limited packaging. edition packaging available in russia from makeup revolution we have some new uh breakout related products so we have the overnight targeted blemish lotion so this is similar to the mario badescu drying lotion you dip a cotton tip into the pink sediment and you pop it on a spot uh, that one's coming soon it's not currently available then we have the overnight blemish lotion this is 10 pounds 10.99 euros 14 us dollars uh, and it looks to be a moisturizer with zinc oxide niacinamide and Allentoin, yes. Then we have the targeted blemish serum, which is a two percent salicylic acid. It's six pounds eight ninety nine euros, eleven dollars. It also contains witch hazel alongside the salicylic acid. All right, we've seen some holiday, um, not holiday, Halloween releases from Makeup Revolution and Makeup Obsession. So we're going to just run through them really quickly. There's the Possessed Glitter Palette, eight pounds. White Cream Face Base, four pounds. Matte Liquid Lip, five pounds in two shades. There's Bewitched and Horror. There's a Vinyl Liquid Lip, five pounds in three shades. It's essentially a blood red, a burgundy, and a black. Uh, Skull Highlighter, five pounds. There's three shades. Ghosted, Creature of the Night, and Blood of My en Enemies. Mm. That seems to get a lot of people's attention. Like, why do I need a liquid highlighter that's red, that's in a skull, but for some reason, I want it. So that's sort of a response to that one, which is Look, fair. I'm with you. Yeah, we all have our things. It's we fair. We do. Uh, there's also liquid latex, three pounds. Fake blood, three pounds. White liquid face paint, three pounds. And from Makeup Obsession, so that was all Makeup Revolution. From Makeup Obsession, we've got Kiss of Death liquid lip, four pounds. Uh, there's three shades. There's a, once again, blood red matte. There's a black vinyl, deep purple matte. Then we've got Love Bite Fake Blood, three pounds. Ghost Stories Liquid Latex, three pounds. What annoys me is these are double ups. Just oh, different I know. fucking I know. packaging. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. It pisses me it's off pissing so much. Me off. If you've got it, Haunt It Face Palette, six pounds. Creep It Real Shadow Palette, three pounds. Take It to the Grave Shadow Palette, six pounds. Then from I Heart Revolution, we've got the Blood Chocolate Palette, nine pounds. The Slime Chocolate Palette, eight ninety nine. Why is it different? I, why is it one I don't cent know. more expensive I don't know. to get the blood? I don't know. Trust me, I was struggling. It took me, I'm not even joking, I was editing these photos last night. It took me when I got to that, yeah. about an hour and a half of me just sitting there going, Why? What's what? What the fuck? 
fuck is what? Yeah. yeah. So this this shows that when you get a brand. Look, okay, there's positives to this collection. First, we haven't seen many Halloween no. collections this year, which is... And they're just about the only fucking affordable brand that's yeah. bringing out liquid latex, for Christ's sake. That's true. And also, like, white face paint. Yeah. I had to buy um, grey face paint the other week. It cost me, like, 20 bucks. It's bullshit. So, I feel you know, bad for you. Yes, thank you. So, I, I feel like... <laughs> You know, what they're doing in the essence of it is great. Yeah, I agree. I agree. people dress up in Halloween makeup, you want to buy it. You don't want to use your really expensive no. eyeliner to draw on your face. You want to get some cheap shit that you can yeah. use for one night. So this is a great way to do it. What frustrates me is when a brand that has all these little, like, sister fucking tentacle brands underneath, it's like they all create the same thing. Liquid latex here and here and here and here and here and here. For the same price, here and here and there. And, you know, okay, cool. It's good that you're doing it. It's great that you can find things like fake blood and Mate, you've got different it's packaging. It's all on the one website, yeah. though. I know. It's the thing that's confusing about it. It's I confusing. Know. Look, I think some of it's fun. Yeah. I think, like, this eyeshadow palette with the greens and the, you know, blues and whatnot. Yeah. It it's actually fun. looks like Halloween. Yeah, it does. It looks like a monster in a it does. palette. I so kind of like it. I, I yeah. get it. I appreciate it. I just wish they could streamline it to make it a little bit more yeah, cohesive. Not so, like, yeah. mumbo jumbo. I agree. All right, we've got some news from Makeup Geek. And when you think they couldn't get any worse, they've just done a partnership with Stay Pineapple Hotels. This reminds me of when ColourPop did that Gabrielle Wilson thing with the heiresses of a hotel. And you're like, what the fuck? This is a similar kind of thing. What's so, happening? I don't know what's happening. And Guys, I stop how, drinking the Kool-Aid. But fuck. I, but I love it how Marlene is the one that, like, in Dramageddon, she created a video trying to call out influencers for yeah. cash grabs. And now she's collaborating with a fucking hotel. <laughs> like, a like I understand Pot calling the kettle black. I know. Up. Like I understand whistleblowing, and I respect people that have the balls to like stand up and you know stand for what they believe in. But this, this, no, it's different. We partnered with Stay Pineapple to bring you this exceptionally exciting eyeshadow palette. In what world? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is a Life of the Party oh. eyeshadow palette. It's twenty nine ninety nine US dollars, and it contains. This will be. You'll see some familiar names here if you've got eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. There's Prism. There's Glamorous, Fortune Teller, Sora, Jester, Mocha, Autumn Breeze, and Corrupt. Uh, it's now available in Makeup Geek Cosmetics. We have some more Nas holiday things. So there was the. Inferno eyeshadow palette that was that was shown at Sephora, uh, but we also have the Free Lover cheek palette. So this is going to be fifty nine US dollars, and it is a limited edition Studio fifty four inspired cheek palette. Uh, it has five blushes and one highlighter. So the shades are a mixture of permanent and previously limited edition shades. So we've got Loves Me from the Erdem collection, Final Cut from the Final Cut collection, Crave is from the Wanted Cheek palette, and Luster and Amour are the permanent shades. So that is coming soon to Sephora US. All right, NARS have also released a new eyeshadow palette. This is the Queen of the Night eyeshadow palette, and it's in collaboration with Suzanne Barch. So she was an event producer who did monthly parties at the Coca Copacabana in the late 80s. It's a weird collaboration choice. I know. Like she, looks, so, she looks fucking rad. Oh, she does. She looks really good. But essentially she's a... A party, party planner. Yeah. She's, yeah. A, she's a party queen. Yeah. So this contains 12 eyeshadow shades. It's limited edition. It seems to be very... Um, look, I'm going to say this and it's going to sound very strange. I don't mean it to sound offensive. It sounds like it was designed by someone who isn't into the makeup industry. Because yeah. it's very um, sparkly. It's a full it's shimmer a full palette. shimmer palette. There's, There's a whole bunch of blue, a green, a silver, gold, red, black, purple, pink. 
Yeah, it want. seems like a party palette. It does. Um, and I think, look, I think some people that are in- interested in shimmery colours, these aren't even bright colours, they're sort of more muted. Yeah. I think they might like this. The three blues kill it for me. Absolutely. Like, you don't need in a 12 pan eyeshadow palette a quarter of it being such similar blues. No. Um, but otherwise, it could be a fun palette, and sometimes the NARS formula is very, very good. Yeah. And so, if this does inspire you, I'd recommend checking it out in store. Um, but it's available now in the US for fifty nine US dollars, so it's not a cheap one. It's not but, cheap. Um, it's sparkly. It is. Uh, we have a collaboration between Nude Sticks and Hilary Duff. Yeah. So we have six all new and exclusive shades. That also come in a dreamy holographic pouch. Yeah, so this is actually a really interesting one because I looked into this a little bit. Hilary Duff actually invested in nude sticks earlier this year. Oh. So she was a fan of nude sticks and then became an investor. Right. So it's an interesting one to collaborate with. Uh, this is hitting a lot of nostalgia buttons for people that love Hilary Duff. Yeah. Um, I quite like Hilary Duff. I've sort of fallen back in love with her from um, watching Younger. Um, so this sort of kit, I think it sort of works with her and the brand. Mm. Uh, it might seem a bit strange because she hasn't really dipped her toe in the beauty industry much, but the background of it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, but this is essentially the Daydreamer collection. You can only buy it in a kit. There are new shades in here, so a mm-hmm. few people ask and you buy it individually. Looks like you can't. So the pack contains three magnetic luminous eye color pencils in Prism, Bright Eyes, and Night Dweller. Um, there's Nudie's Matte All Over Blush Colour in Body Language. There's the Nudie's Glow All Over Highlight in Half Moon. The Gel Lip Colour Lip and Cheek Balm in Secret Keeper. You get also the pouch, uh, which says Daydreamer on it, I believe. Yes, it does. Um, there's also a matte black makeup tin, which you'd get probably the eye trio in. Yeah. Uh, cosmetic mirror and a makeup sharpener. It's all $75 US dollars, value of $180 US dollars. So if you really like stick cream products, you might like this. Um, and this was available for 24 hours early access. It will release... At a later date. Mm. I don't know when that later date is just yet. Um, But $1 of the net sales of each pack will be donated to ACLU. Um, So there we go. From Physicians Formula, we have some new skincare items. So these look to be from a 24 carat collection. Yeah. So it's like a collagen collection. So we have the collagen oil. $16.99 $16.99 US dollars. Then we have the moisturizer, $16.99. There's also a collagen eye cream for $16.99 and a lip serum for $11.99. And they all contain gold. Yes. Which is, some people say that gold does good things, but uh, the I research has shown it's pretty much just a. I don't, yeah, placebo. I don't think there's actually any proof. Like, I think if you're using something and it's got gold in it and you're like, oh my god, this is amazing, it's probably just a good formulation. Yeah, it's probably the stuff around the gold. Yeah, it's yeah. the juice, not yeah. the boost. But it is a bit of a gimmick, and I feel yeah. like gold, like, you know, gold seems to be all the rage right now. Oh, like, yeah. there's so many gold things. Yeah. That and fucking frosted plastic. This episode yeah. is full of it. Shulamora is releasing an unlimited cushion foundation and unlimited concealer range, which they are adding to their unlimited liquid foundation range that launched earlier in the year. So the concealer is going to be available in 13 shades and the cushion will be available in eight shades. We don't have a whole lot of information, but we do have images up there for you to have a look at. So they're just expanding on a collection that they already have. Sigma have released new liquid lipsticks in six hydrating shades. These are launching the 17th of September, and that's all we know about them. They've got some nudes, a red, sort of darker berry red, a pinky color. 
From Sonia G, we have an upcoming brush set. So they're calling it the Sky Face Set. At the moment, this is only available as a sign up to be notified when it's coming, basically. Uh, looks like there's going to be five brushes in the set. A Master Face Brush, Soft Cheek, Classic Cheek, the Worker Fan, and the Mini Cheek. And they are going to have a different styled handle i believe when we know more about these we'll update you all right a new foundation from surat there's a dew drop foundation 20 shades 75 us dollars i thought pat mcgrath was bad this yeah. is worse so it's a natural seamless lightweight foundation it's a light to medium coverage it has a dewy, hydrating finish that's ideal for everyday wear. So its unique delivery system ensures your complexion, complexion receives optimal amount of coverage each time you apply. How can you guarantee I don't know. that? I don't Stop think it. you can, but it's available now at Beautylish. Also, don't tell me how much I can and can't have. Yeah, unless <laughs> what it might do is it might have like a click bottom or something. It could, yeah. Because it looks like it's a tube with like a little fine nozzle but it doesn't look like a squeezy tube yeah so i reckon it might have a clicker base so it's probably an dispense, airless pump yeah, yeah. It dispenses a yeah. certain amount um but there you go interesting interesting tart cosmetics has shown their new holiday palette so they usually mm. do a large holiday palette amongst a whole bunch of other crap this is the first part that we've seen uh so it's sort of like the sneak peek um and it's their winter wonder glam luxe eye palette coming soon to tarte cosmetics and savora um and it is a big palette so it's got 24 eyeshadow shades mainly in champagnes and nudes bit of brown bit of berry bit of blue bit of purple bit of silver and black and then you have what looks like maybe a mini mascara a mini eyeliner and a double-ended brush Excellent. So that is a sneak peek of their holidays. We've also seen a new pack that has just launched. Now, this is a frustrating name. It's called um, the Treasures Collection Set. Now, this is a recycled name from past years. Yeah. So um, yeah. we've seen past sets that have been called this. So when you try to Google this to find out more information, it comes up with old collections, of which is kind of frustrating. Um, but this set is 49 US dollars. It says it's got a hundred and. 96 dollar value it's available now it's got nine eyeshadows two blushes two highlighters full-size limited edition lights camera lashes mascara and a double-ended brush so essentially this is uh, i think bobby brown used to do these um it's like a palette that you open the lid and then you sort of like a makeup box yeah you slide slide them slide the uh top shelf to the side and underneath is the eyeshadows so there you go this is a very basic warm toned palette mm. a few people think this is great for travel i agree if you're into this yeah. color story i, I actually quite like tart eyeshadow quality as well so um if you did like this not probably... bad. i reckon if you like the color story go yeah you probably enjoy yeah. it yeah uh, from Tom Ford, we've seen uh, some boys and girls lip colors that are being launched for holiday 2019. I'm not sure if these are going to be limited edition or permanent. I'm going to say surely they're adding these to their permanent range because there are a lot of lipsticks here. We have 25 new shades of the boys and girls lip colors, 36 US dollars. I'm not going to go through them all, no. but there's, there's different and pinks finishes. And reds. Yeah. yeah. So they're the boys and girls ones. Then we've got the boys and girls ultra rich lip colors. Again, $36. There's two new shades. You've got Bridget, which is a soft pink and cherry, which is a coral shade. Then you have the boys and girls lip color sheer. They're 36 US dollars in three shades. You've got Dorothy, which is a sheer coral, Abigail, a sheer beige and ultra, which is a sheer pink. And these are available now at Neiman Marcus and coming to other retailers soon. All right, last piece of news for the day or the week. We've got YSL Beauty has collaborated with Zoe Kravitz. Mm. Uh, so this is a lipstick collection. So Zoe has hand-picked shades uh, in three reds and three nudes uh, with three unique finishes, satin, matte, and shimmer. Um, so they're inspired by her loved ones. So we've, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different names there. And also by her favorite St. Laurent bag. 
Well, there and you go. her signature black opium bottle. <laughs> It's great. This is this is like go in her handbag and name a lipstick collection after the things you find. Yeah. So it looks like they've got a nude, a red, both in a satin finish, a nude and a red in a matte finish, and a nude and red in a shimmer finish. Yeah. Um, the shades are actually pretty nice. I think she's picked a good balance. Yeah. Uh, so the nudes, there's quite, they're quite cool tone nudes. They are. I yeah. really like them. And then the reds are really punchy. There's like a uh, sort of cool toned sort of vampy red, mm. a brighter orange tone red, and what looks more like a muted um, autumn sort of yeah, nude red. Yeah, almost like a, yeah, like a red off a tree that's dropping its leaves. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's a, I, I really vibe with these colours, so I appreciate it. Yeah, um, I think it's a nice selection of colours. Yeah, but they're va- now available on YSL Beauty for 38 US dollars each. Excellent. Oh my God. It's a long one. Do you know how long we've been filming without no. looking? No. Do you want to know? Maybe. Shit. <laughs> That's a long time. Over two hours. Over two hours. Okay. So we were going to film some other stuff after this. I don't know if we're going to. We're not. <laughs> we're fucking done our dash. Yeah. Mate. Yeah. It's a big one. Holidays... That's a problem, though. Like, the this holidays have becomes yeah. problematic. This always happens towards the end of the year. And I think a lot of people, like, if you've been watching Beauty News for a long time, you can always sort of see us at the end of the year just start to, like... Lose the plot. Lose the actual plot. Because, like, you know, we research this stuff. We have to sit here and actually talk verbalize it yeah for two hours straight and then you've got to like edit the photos and put the episodes yeah. together and stuff so they are really long they're time consuming they're taxing and we are so sick of everyone's bullshit yeah that's true <laughs> as, as you can probably tell as you can tell as you can tell oh well however we hope you guys found this nice and entertaining hopefully hopefully we kept your company for long enough give it a thumbs up but we need to VIP, VIP an emoji. an emoji before we skedaddle. GTO. GTFO. So our beauty news VIP for this week is Emma. Thank you so much, Emma, thank for you, supporting Emma. beauty news. And thank you to everyone who supports beauty news in whichever way you choose to do it. Yes. Uh, our emoji is... A bento box. Now, how did we get there? How did we get there? We were like, okay, this the theme of this week seems to be frosted like packaging Plastic. that looks like a lunchbox. Yeah. There's no lunchboxes in emojis, no. but there are bento boxes, and that's how we got there. There we if go. If you can think of anything else that's plastic related, um, we'll in, take it. Yeah, yeah. Do that. But another thing that made me think of plastic was. Um, uh, last week we talked about the Pat McGrath little palettes. Yes. They're a frosted plastic. Clear, frosted, or yeah. not clear, but yeah, transparent, transparent frosted yeah. plastic. Yeah, so I feel like yeah. it's popping up a lot. Yeah. And uh, so actually we've got it from Hourglass and Pat McGrath. Yeah, and Mac. And Mac. Yeah, so I think it's a trend that's coming. So I'd say one of the manufacturers, the packaging manufacturers. They're like, check was, out this material. Look, it's going to be the coolest thing. Look what no Georgian else. fucking mail come up with. Yeah, yeah. Because no one else has it. It's going to be really unique. That's because it's a shit idea. <laughs> Unless it is frosted glass and then it's great. But it won't. It, but it could look cool in person. It could. It Just could. putting it out there. I reckon it's going to look good with lights on it under it. So everybody start buying strip lights and stuff like that to Clear stick on your glass desk. tables. Yes, and yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 a thing. We're over. We're over. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. It's been so long. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. It's, it's kind of like a cool palette with a pop of warm. Is that? What's up, Boogie? What's wrong? What's wrong? Gosh, You're not usually this you talkative. You usually say that much, <laughs> too. What's wrong? Oh, meow. What's Something's wrong. Yeah. What's wrong, Boogie? What's Something up, my son? In the kitchen. <laughs> I can understand you. Kitchen. Come on, show me quickly. Come on. What's wrong? You show me. What's wrong? What are we doing? Do you want food?
you cheeky bastard. You can't just get food when you ask for it.